today we'll be talking about <laughs> why you look so You're tuned in to the leading vitamin D deficiency channel on YouTube with specific focus on helping you overcome your deficiency. Today, we'll be talking about the importance of magnesium. According to the WHO, the World Health Organization, about 75% of the US population is magnesium deficient. That is a great deal because that is over 50%. In addition, magnesium control over 300, you heard me right, 300 not 50 different biochemical reactions in the body so when you're deficient in magnesium three over 300 different reactions and things that are not being done inside the body that should be getting done guess what's going to happen if those process and those different actions are not being done on a regular you're going to slowly deteriorate oh yes because the body is meant to function. If, if you're not giving it what it needs to function, it's going to stop functioning. Making sense, right? All right. You might be asking, what are some ways that persons can become deficient? Well, there are many ways, <laughs> honestly. So let's start off with taking a diuretic. A diuretic is something persons take, especially if they have high blood pressure. A doctor may prescribe a diuretic. What a diuretic is, it just releases excess water from your body. And what tends to happen is that magnesium tends to be flushed out in that water. So taking a diuretic can lower your magnesium. So check with your doctor if you're on a diuretic to kind of help you to come off because then it's also having another impact on your health. Because you need magnesium to live, honestly. Another one is if you're taking vitamin D without magnesium. If you're taking vitamin D, vitamin D will deplete your magnesium yes so you need to be taking vitamin d and magnesium just not vitamin d and k2 also if you're consuming too much fructose and i'm not talking about fructose from fruits i'm talking about high fructose corn syrup found in all those packaged foods that is also depleting your magnesium also persons that drink too much alcohol alcohol is actually high in sugar if you didn't know Having low stomach acid is also another reason why you may not be absorbing your magnesium. You need very strong stomach acid to absorb these minerals. Something to look out for to know if you're having low stomach acid is that if you're having heartburn, that is an indicator that you're having low stomach acid. Yes, heartburn is not an excess of stomach acid, rather it's low stomach acid. And if you're having that problem, all you can do is just take two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar right before each meal. Or you can invest in something. I'm going to put it right here. It's betaine, HCL. It's basically stomach acid in a tablet. And it's going to help to boost your stomach acid and help you digest all the minerals from the food you eat. Uh, you should take about six to eight with each meal. Lastly, the soils are not as nutrient dense as they were. Did you know in the 1950s an orange had plenty vitamin a now in today's age in order to get the same vitamin a that you got from though from an orange back in the 1950s you would have to eat 21 oranges that's crazy so we're not getting the nutrients that we once were able to get from the soils the soils are very much depleted at this point so i guess we're gonna have to supplement Alright, so although the soils are depleted, here are some foods that are still high in magnesium. So on my list, I have pumpkin seeds, cashews, avocados, bananas, black beans, and chia seeds. Some symptoms of magnesium deficiency. And you're going to realize that some of these symptoms overlap with a vitamin D deficiency. These symptoms are headaches, muscle weakness, muscle cramps, heart palpitations, high blood pressure, insomnia which means you cannot sleep as well insulin resistance anxiety and depression high cortisol and the number one symptom fatigue that extreme tiredness you feel when you first became vitamin d deficient yeah that fatigue is very real and is the number one symptom that you're magnesium deficient i'm gonna just let you guys know something real quick 
sometimes you're not actually low on vitamin D. Rather, you are low on magnesium, which is necessary for the proper functioning of vitamin D. That is what's actually causing some of the symptoms. Because some of the symptoms lean more magnesium focus. And what I've realized now through my comments that no one really seems to know that they should be taking magnesium with vitamin D. All they know is that they should be taking maybe vitamin D with the K2 and some persons don't even know about the K2. I really wish more persons would find my channel so they can help themselves because it's not an easy journey going through this and I really just wish more persons would know. All right, so we're on to the benefits of magnesium. Magnesium has many benefits and you're gonna wanna hear them. So once you start getting your magnesium levels back where they're supposed to be, you're gonna experience more energy. It's gonna help the proper function of vitamin D. You're gonna have improved sleep, improved bone health. You're gonna realize you're less stressed and it's gonna help with your anxiety and depression along with relieving constipation. What are some of the best magnesium supplements? For me, it's magnesium glycinate all day, every day. Why? It's the cheapest and it's the easiest to find. There are different sources of magnesium that are good and that are on the market, but they're very expensive and very hard to find a good manufacturer that makes a good quality one. So magnesium glycinate is the go-to. Some types of magnesium that you should stay away from is magnesium oxide, hydroxide, and carbonate. Although you can use magnesium oxide for one or two days if you're having constipation that will help you out if you're in a pinch. The dose to take for magnesium, so the dose to take is 400 to 420 milligrams per day for men and for women it's 300 to 320 milligrams per day. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen or pictures rather of my favorite magnesium supplements. They can be found on Amazon. You can pause the video and take a screenshot right after which we're getting into the pro tip. So if you're taking magnesium and you realize that you're having diarrhea or loose stools, don't stop taking the magnesium. Just reduce the dose until those symptoms subside. It just means that your body has just reached the upper limit of what it can handle in terms of magnesium. Once the dose is reduced to a level the body can handle, you're gonna be fine. Sometimes you have to work your way up to the recommended dosage as well. So that's the pro tip. And you know, as usual guys, leave a like, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video and say it with me, peace.